<laughs> Where can you exercise that is fun, exciting, interesting, colorful, plus helps out a good cause? That's easy. You can do all of these things at the Color Run. What is the Color Run? The Color Run is a recently invented 5K in which all the runners get doused in colorful powder at every kilometer and at the finish line. Another great aspect of this totally unique race is that it, it helps a multitude of charities around the country. Today, we will discuss the history of the Color Run, its founder, its credibility, local races, and testimonials. Now that I have established a background for what the Color Run is and hopefully sparked your interest, Let's see what it is all about. The Color Run is definitely not a scam. The run is hosted all over the United States and even in Australia. In each city, local charities are selected where the, where the race is hosted. These charities then partner up with the race, help provide the volunteers, and also receive some of the race profits. For example, the upcoming race that is going to be held in Madison, Wisconsin on June 29th will donate the money that they make to the charity Camp Kesem, which is a camp for children ages 6 to 16 whose parents have had cancer. A race that will be held in Australia is on August 25th, 2013. This 5K will be held in Sydney. The charity that this race will be benefiting is the Cure of Life Foundation which is a newly established charity that raises money for integrative medicine research and promotes health. This is a very popular race for very good causes, and all of these are very legitimate. These charities would not put their name out there on something that was made up and fake. Thousands of people travel to these certain locations to help and go run for the causes. This is a well-supported event, so there is no need to be nervous. Another way to prove that this race isn't a scam is a lot of major magazines are talking about how cool and awesome it is. Some examples are the Oprah Magazine, Sports Illustrated, ESPN, and many more. A few quotes from the articles include Aaron Levin from the Huffington Post stated, the color run is a blast of color for your run. All you could feel was the high energy. And according to Time Magazine, they consider it being doused with colors like a powdered sugar fight. Not only is the color run considered the happiest 5K on the planet because it's meant to bring friends and family together in a healthy setting, but it also gives back to a chosen charity from that area, like stated before. There is a different charity chosen at each location to give to, and runners may also choose to honor someone who is fighting a disease or has passed away. Since the event is not timed, there is no single winner, and this allows for people of all ages to join. It doesn't matter if you have never run a 5K before. You are not alone here. In 2012, an estimated number of runners had never run a 5K before. The best part about the color run? The trademark of this race is the act of dousing participants that each come in different colors. One is yellow, 2K is blue, 3K is green, 4K is pink, and the five is cornstarch powder. Participants are supposed to wear all white clothing. The colors don't stop there. You end at the finish line with a color festival. This is a dance party where participants are doused with more colored cornstarch and are given odd foods. In 2012, the founding year of the Color Run, 50 races were held at various locations. Over 300,000 runners participated in these color paloozas. It is currently the largest series of five kilometer races in the country and only second to the Relay for Life as the largest charity sponsoring event. Over 30 races have already occurred in 2013, but don't worry, there are still 71 races left for the season. The Color Run organization estimates that they will have over a million participants in this year alone. 32 races have been tentatively scheduled for 2014. Not only do these races bring smiles to the participants and volunteers, but they also bring a romantic component. 
10 marriage proposals and one wedding have actually been documented during the events over the past two years alone, according to the color run. The price to participate in the races varies depending on the host city, but most are around $45 or $50. This fee buys you your color race packet. All participants receive their packet before the race. It includes a commemorative t-shirt that is surprisingly not colorful. It is white so runners could wear it during the race and color it themselves. This packet also contains a commemorative tattoo, race number, white sweatband, and various knickknacks from sponsors. Runners also receive their own bag of colored cornstarch to celebrate the finish of the race at the end of the race party. Additional color packets could be purchased before and after the race. The rest of the registration money is used to cover the cost of operation of the Color Run organization and donated to the partner charity. The Color Run organization is actually a for-profit for company, but it does not hamper the amount of good they do. Each race, they partner with local charities in the hosting city. These charities provide volunteers on race day, and in return, the charities get a percentage of the race fee depending on the number of volunteers they provide. They've actually donated over $600,000 to charities in 2012, and they expect to donate over a million dollars in 2013. They raise this money in a variety of ways. Obviously, part of the race fee goes to the charities. Also, when registering, participants have the option of adding an additional donation to the charity partners. Each charity is also given a set of charity registrations and the charities can sell these registrations for whatever price they like, and they get to keep 100% of what they bring in off of these registrations. Now, this race not only helps out charities financially, but more importantly, it also raises awareness for each one of the causes. It's great exposure for them, says Amanda Blanket, the organizer of the Baltimore and DC races. She also added that the exact amount donated is private, according to Kalkenbach. Although the exact amount given to each charity is not disclosed, anonymous sources have rumored that some charities in larger races have earned over $10,000 in the one-day event, according to Mayard. One charity, Hands on Jacksonville, stated that partnering with the Color Run in 2013 was a rewarding experience for them. Being selected as a charity of choice was an honor for us and we supported the work that we, we do on a daily basis in our city. They gave our dedicated volunteers a fun and energetic way to be engaged and promote health and wellness, a core value for their organization in such a unique way. For our organization, the volunteers and for our organization, for our volunteers and for our city, this partnership was a win all around. One may wonder who organized all the fun that goes with this race. Creator and now executive director, Travis Snyder, put the whole race together. Being a diehard diver himself, he wanted to create a race that added fun to the average 5K. Jackson Cozens, the Color Runs media coordinator, states, A few things inspired Snyder, but the idea has been in the works for a few years. Travis was a triathlete and avid runner. He began creating his own running events 10 years ago. Travis wanted to create a non-threatening running environment where anyone could get together and enjoy the sport. From that, the Kelly Run was created. What makes this 5K better than most is that it douses a person in color while supporting local charities. This race began in 2012 in Tempe, Arizona, with the goals to promote healthy living, happiness, individuality, and giving back to the community. A local charity is chosen at each city visited. In 2012, donations for over 60 local and national charities were raised. Snyder states, we have worked with everything from food banks to youth groups to children's hospitals. We love integrating ourselves into each community. Finding a great local charity that is highly involved and highly involved in benefiting their community is very important. The Color Run is partnering up with the charity, Open Your Heart to the Hungry and Homeless. About 20,000 runners are expected, and this event will help raise, raise money and awareness to people who are unaware of this charity. It will support the needs of those who are affected by hunger and homelessness, including children, seniors, veterans, and working adults. In August of 2012, the Color Run benefited the charity, West Michigan Sports Commission. This charity hosts 
a diverse level of youth and amateur sporting events, enhancing the economy and quality of life in the region. In Baltimore, Two Color Runs benefited the Cool Kids Campaign, which is a charity that focuses on service, serving children and their families battling cancer. A donation was received from the Color Run for every volunteer that was recruited, which ended up being 200 volunteers for each race. Another charity the Color Run has supported was the American Heart Association in Dallas in February 2012. In October 2012, Bill's Self Charity, the Assist Foundation, was another charity in which the Color Run benefited. This charity is located in Lawrence, Kansas. The Assist Foundation works with other community organizations to provide Lawrence's youth with, youth with access to better lives. At this race, not only did the runners finish doused in color, but also received Willy Wonka candy at the finish line. A week after the Lawrence race took place, the Color Run headed to Memphis, Tennessee. In Memphis, the Color Run benefited Donneville Learning Center. The Learning Center has many parts to the program, including academic and enrichment classes, psychological and spiritual encouragement and support. There are many classes offered, some which include sewing classes, learning and life skills, parenting classes, computer studies, and more. The last charity I will mention is the Deaf Community Services of San Diego, which the Color Run has benefited. This charity was selected because of their goal to enrich the lives of the deaf community through services, education, and advocacy. The Color Run is a fun race in which each local charity benefits from a part of the registration fees. This race is not only fun, but also helps those in need. The participants in the Color Run have raved about it as well. I wanted to create an event that would encourage people to get out and run just for the fun of it. I wanted people to enjoy the community experience of running together, and I wanted to add something a little out of the ordinary to the race, something that could serve as sort of a visual reward for all the hard work those runners put into training for these events. That was a quote by Sid Travis Snyder, founder of the Color Run. Another participant of the Color Run said that you have to add a little spice to it so everyone wants to do it. That was Michelle Guzman, who is a 47-year-old woman from Discovery Bay. Another good aspect of these events is that there is a significant number of races which are held all over the world. It is fairly easy to find a race in your neighborhood. For example, Cleveland, Ohio is one of the locations for the Color Run coming in the fall of 2013. It will be taking place in Willoughby Hills on September 21st. Every few minutes, starting at 8 o'clock a.m., waves of people will begin the run. The race is set to begin on Plaza Drive and continues on to Bishop Road, Eddy Road, Rockefeller Road, Chardon Road, and then finishes back on Plaza Drive in Willoughby Hills. We will now show our clip of the Color Run video.